Thank you for inviting me to say a few words at this important event. Let me also acknowledge here His Excellency Mr. Giorgi Konusi Konrote, the President of Fiji, Minister Quiros, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Costa Rica, as well as my colleagues, High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, and Executive Director of UNICEF, Henrietta Poor. It has been almost 50 years since a right to a healthy environment first emerged at the international level through the adoption of the Stockholm Declaration back in 1972, the year UNEP was founded. A healthy environment is integral to the full enjoyment of a wide range of human rights, including the rights to life, to health, to food, to water and sanitation. At the same time, protecting human rights is vital to protecting the environment. It's a well-known fact that the right to a healthy environment is recognized by 80% of UN member states in some form. However, this right has not yet been formally recognized at the global level, creating protection gaps, especially for those that are particularly vulnerable to environmental degradation, including women, children, and indigenous people. I'm in full agreement with the title of this meeting, The Time is Now. Now is the time to recognize the right to a healthy environment at the global level so that the right can exist for everyone, everywhere. The world is facing three major and interrelated crises, the climate crisis, the biodiversity and nature crisis, and the pollution and waste crisis. The UN recognition of the right to a healthy environment will help ensure that we address these environmental challenges in an integrated and holistic manner and help create and achieve a pathway to the Sustainable Development Goals, while we put the rights of people at the heart of our actions. The UN recognition of the right to a healthy environment will help implementation and enforcement of environmental laws on the grounds by courts, citizens and governments through clarifying that all people everywhere can enjoy and exercise this right. The recognition would also help translating the environmental laws into actions on the ground, which will lead to better environmental outcomes to serve both people and the planet. In this regard, it's my pleasure to join the call for the universal recognition of the right to a healthy environment. I'm deeply encouraged by the leadership of the UN Human Rights Council in moving humanity towards making the right to a healthy environment a reality for all. I believe that it's time for the UN to respond to the call of over 1,000 civil society organizations from all corners of the world, urging the UN to recognize this right. It's not an option, but an obligation to protect the planet and our present and future generations. We see the clear benefits for the environment and people, a strong call from all the people we serve and the momentum to move forward and towards that universal recognition of the rights to a healthy environment. There's no reason and no time for hesitation. The time is now. Thank you.